I stumbled upon a video of a Nigerian who claims that he makes his petrol and diesel from just rubber bags and plastic wastes and he sells it to people who are aware that he is his own producer of his products. My next scroll was a Ghanaian guy who also makes petrol and diesel from these same plastic wastes. Before we come to the wet place, my dear viewers, look at this one, Viva's diesel. Let me show you some of the diesel. Let me show you some of the sample. My dear viewers. Cameraman, come to me. My dear viewers, this fuel is from plastic waste. This fuel is from plastic waste. In my quest to discover how this works, and how they were able to make money doing this, a thought came to my mind, which was, if a regular person like these guys could produce so much fuel from plastic waste, why isn't the government investing in something like this that will help reduce the amount of plastic trash on the streets and reduce fuel scarcity and also control the price of fuel? But is this fuel sustainable? Is it effective? And is it environmental friendly? First of all, how is it possible to generate fuel from plastic bags? Nigeria generates 25 million tons of plastic waste annually, with its commercial capital, Lagos, generating 870,000 annually. So many plastic bottles and lylons have littered so many places and formed mountains in dumping sites. To overcome issues like pollution, several alternatives for managing plastic waste have been developed, like reusing and recycling, and one of them is energy recovery method. The energy recovery method is one of the key ways to reduce plastic waste accumulation. The energy recovery method led some people to convert waste plastics into liquid fuel through the process called pyrolysis. In simple terms, pyrolysis is the burning of substances like plastic bottles and bags in the absence of oxygen. The result of this process produce oil and gas. The fuel these guys produced through their pyrolysis method was tested, and it works on the engines just like the normal fuel. You see it's a bit um, kind of um, shiny, look at it, shiny thick yellow this fuel lasts long it lasts so long in this uh, type of paralysis that we do either we get fuel or we get diesel either we get fuel or we get diesel this fuel lasts very long just like the diesel lasts long this fuel is equals to half of this uh, half of a liter is equals to one liter in this filling station because of its uh, texture and nature <laughs> it's good to go the fuel is very good to go like it's so good to go and this is a setup that you can manage. A very small setup is okay. Some of the downsides of producing this is that some people don't believe in the idea of pyrolysis fuel because they think that pyrolysis is an energy consuming process and more energy has to be put in to treat the waste than can be recovered. So it can never be sustainable. Secondly, they believe pyrolysis fuel released the same quantity of carbon dioxide as if the plastic had been burning up directly. But these guys are just trying to make something out of nothing. Bigger firms make pyrolysis fuel in Nigeria and they sell their products to majorly industries and people who are aware of how the fuel was made. According to the characteristics of the analysis, pyrolysis oil cannot be directly used in vehicles. However, refined and distilled pyrolysis oil can be used as non-standard diesel fuel. 
in diesel generators and heavy machineries. The people that buy them know how it works and they know the advantage and disadvantages of using pyrolysis fuel. So it's safe to say that it can be used as an alternative if you are familiar with pyrolysis. Hello, this is your boy Pumerang. I'm back again and we are in Nigeria live. Um, so many people are saying so, some certain things about this diesel thing. Uh, the thing is that we don't I don't go for I don't go for crude. I don't go for crude. I've never ever joined a bunker before. I've never joined a bunker. But when hungry beats me, and then I discover say even lie long if you make me chop. You understand? Um so what what I do here, what I do here is that I take your waste, that your pure that you drink to away, that your sack where you carry go market, where you to away. That your vigil milk where you drink. I turn all those things, I turn all those things to diesel and fuel. Like, like I turn them to, I turn them to diesel. I turn them to diesel and fuel. I don't joke about it. And this thing took me three years to perfect.